Hello everybody, welcome back to Name Hero. Today we're going to be talking about the Minecraft Get Sock OPT error. This video will cover what it is and how to solve it. Let's get started. Now, the Get Sock OPT error is a connection error. You'll often get it when trying to connect to a game server or a LAN server for whatever reason. Know that this isn't a mod issue, and it doesn't really have anything to do with your game installation. Instead, it's more of a networking issue, so we'll have to go into your computer's networking settings to try and solve it. Keep in mind that these solutions will have you messing with your network settings, so please do not follow these steps unless you know what you're doing and you're willing to mess around with your networking a bit. To start, your firewall may have blocked access to the server's IP address, and while network protection from a firewall is always good, it's actually standing in your way here. There are two ways around this. You can try allowing Minecraft through your firewall, or deactivating your firewall entirely, even if you only have it deactivated while you're playing Minecraft. Start by going to your Windows search bar and typing in Windows Defender Firewall. This will open your firewall settings. From here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And since we're playing Minecraft Java Edition, you want to scroll down until you find java.w.exe or Java Platform SE Binary. Then, check the boxes under the private and public columns. This ensures that any Java-related software can make it through your firewall. You'll also want to do the same thing for Minecraft. However, if Minecraft isn't showing up in this list for you, you need to add it via the Allow Another App option. Do this by going to Browse and searching for wherever you have Minecraft installed on your PC. Make sure that you add both Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher. Once this is done, try connecting to the server again. If it doesn't work, we'll have to attempt turning your firewall off entirely. Go back to your main firewall settings and click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall On or Off. Once again, turning off your Windows firewall can be dangerous if you keep browsing the internet while doing it. If you do test out this solution, make sure to turn your firewall back on immediately after you're done playing Minecraft. But what you'll want to do is take each setting and do Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall. Then click OK and try connecting to the Minecraft server once again. If neither of those solutions work, we'll have to try changing your DNS settings. Changing your DNS server allows your internet connection to be faster and have more security, as we'll have you connecting to Google's domain name service. This is a public service that anyone can utilize, so we'll just be showing you how to connect to it, and hopefully this will fix your GetSock OPT issue. Start by opening Start and searching for Control Panel. From there, go to your Network and Internet Settings, click on Network and Sharing Center, then click Change Adapter Settings on the left sidebar. Right-click either your Wi-Fi or Ethernet settings, depending on which one you use, and click Properties. From there, scroll down to your Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, click it and select Properties. In these properties, make sure that you select Use the following DNS server addresses. In the Preferred DNS server box, type 8888, and in the Alternate DNS server box, type 8844. Then click OK. You may want to restart your computer after this, but hopefully it helps. Once your computer is restarted, try connecting to the Minecraft server once again. If none of these options work, but you're trying to connect to a friend's server, they can try port forwarding their router. We have a guide on port forwarding a Minecraft server on NameHero.com, so be sure to check it out if needed. Otherwise, if none of these solutions worked, try filing a ticket with Mojang Studio's support team for more assistance. They have certainly tested and reported on all kinds of issues like this. You can also try making a post on their bug report page. Otherwise, that's about it when it comes to trying to fix the GetSock OPT error. We hope this video helped, and for more videos and guides on Minecraft, be sure to check out NameHero.com, and we'll see you guys in the next video.